my head! Is there any aspirin for vision-induced headaches? Hang in there, old buddy. You're doing a great job. There you are. Wonderful. More orders to fill. The tailor is buying 24 skeins of yarn to make 8 sweaters. Show how many skeins of yarn she will use for each sweater. Oh, that's just wonderful. You're so helpful. Hey guys, let's not leave yet. I think there are still clues here. The tailor needs yarn to make sets of mittens. She is buying 32 skeins of yarn, and each set of mittens requires 4 skeins. How many sets of mittens can she make? It's just wonderful. You're so helpful. Okay, I don't think there are any more clues in this area. Let's move it on out. You're back. You know what to do. Two times forty equals what? Two times forty equals eighty. Ten times seven equals what? times 7 equals 70. 10 times 8 equals what? 10 times 8 equals 80. 80 times 1 equals 80 times 1 equals 80. 5 times 10. 5 times 10 equals 50. 9 times 10 equals Nine times ten equals ninety. Thirty times three equals what? Thirty times three equals ninety. Eight times ten equals what? Eight times ten equals eighty. Twenty times four. Twenty times four equals eighty. Ten times five equals what? Ten times five equals way to go
It feels like there are still clues to be had here. What do you say? Should we go for them or head out? Six times ten equals six times ten equals sixty. Seven times ten equals what? Seven times ten equals seventy. Five times ten equals what? Five times ten equals fifty. Four times twenty equals what? Twenty equals eighty. Twenty times four equals what? Twenty times four equals eighty. Eight times ten equals what? Eight times ten equals eighty. Seven times ten equals what? Seven times ten. Five times ten equals what? Equals fifty two times forty equals two times forty equals eighty ten times eight equals what? Ten times eight equals eighty. Way to go. I think we should move on! There aren't any clues left here! Thanks for coming back! You know what to do! I wonder if she's making anything warm in here, in, say, my size? Back to help me, I see. Please help me finish the bar graph using the information from the pictograph. Place the red bolts of material on the bar graph to show how many socks I made last year in the specified sizes. Excellent! That's correct! Hey gang! I'm detecting at least one more clue here! Exactly what that is, I'm not sure! But it's definitely a clue! Please help me fill in the bar graph and the pictograph using the information from the line graph. 
show how many boxes of yarn I used last September through December. Excellent! That's correct! Excellent! That's correct! Let's hit the trail! No clues left here! Time to plot some more charts. And chart some more plots, if you know what I mean. There we go, just right. Yes, that will look great in the book. Looks like we found all the clues here. Shall we skedaddle?
feeding time, I presume? Thanks. The animals will definitely appreciate this snack. Fee fi fo foo! Don't leave! I smell another clue! That's it! Looks like we found all the clues here! Shall we skedaddle? Ice cubes, take your pick! Get it? Huh? Ice pick! Uh, yeah, right. When the fractions, denominators, or bottom numbers, are the same, you can just add or subtract the numerators, or top numbers, and Keep place going. that number over You're the bottom number to get the answer. When the fractions, denominators, or bottom numbers, are the same, you can just add or subtract the numerators, or top numbers, and place that number over the bottom number to get the answer. Not bad at all. I'm impressed. Let's hit the trail. No clues left here. Hey, it's hey. Ha ha. Hello again, my smart friends. Time to build corrals for my yaks, okay? We're ready!
Excellent job. I thank you. My ex thank you too. Hey gang! I'm detecting at least one more clue here! Exactly what that is, I'm not sure, but it's definitely a clue! Excellent job. I thank you. My ex thank you too. Let's hit the trail. No clues left here. Just the people I want to see. Let's get to work, okay? Hey, you kids are hot stuff. Hey, you kids are hot stuff.
Well, we figured out that the shopkeeper took the chimes and hid it in the library. It was not me. It was the Yeti. You must find it. Stop it. Follow the footprints. Well done. We were right to call you for help. Let us return our treasure to its proper place. These objects are priceless. We could not possibly replace what they mean to us. Aren't the treasures beautiful, Joni? Yes, they're beautiful. But no time to lose. There are more of them still out there. Cool. We've recovered 17 treasures. Only seven left to go. Okay, so we've discussed motivations for the apprentice and the writer. Who else would want to steal the treasures? Well, the photographer is not a native. Somebody turn me off, quick! I can't! Oh, wow. I have to have that new digital camera with the auxiliary storage and the nonlinear graphic editor. It's so cool. I just know I could take prize-winning pictures with that camera. But it's so expensive. Where am I ever going to get the money to pay for it? Me? How do I feel? You want to know how I feel? <laughs> I feel like a TV set with an invisible cable connection. This is wild, Laptrap. Seeing what happened in the past really helps us figure out why they might be here. Seems really odd the photographer would have taken the treasures just to buy a new camera. It does give her a motive, but it is far from conclusive evidence. <laughs>